Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Emporium. My name is Swiss, and tonight we're going to be making some super cute Halloween costumes together. Together, we're going to be making a whole bunch of costumes out of our own clothing to celebrate this sacred old tradition of All Hallows' Eve. We are obviously still in a very depressing pandemic, and Halloween costumes are so expensive nowadays. I'm personally not going to be making the choice of spending $60 on a full princess costume to wear for one night when I have all the resources to make it at home, you silly goose. Props to those who can afford nice costumes. If you can get it at the right place, they're really, really pretty. So, even though there's no trick-or-treating this year, you can still strut your stuff around your house and eat all the candy you want in a perfect homemade costume made just for you. So let's get going and make our Halloween costumes to spend Halloween night in. My first costume idea is the classic Cinderella costume. It wasn't my first idea, but looking through my closet, I could see that I had plenty of resources to make this costume come alive. Yep, I got a lot of blue dresses and I have to wear them somewhere, even if it's still just in the house. All you need to pull off this classic Disney princess's look is an adorable blue dress, some blue themed jewelry, and basically any shoes that are cute. You can even add a shawl, some gloves, a crown if you have one, some actual high heels, but we're going to keep eyes just a little bit simple for right now. Now all you gotta do is combine these looks together and here we are! We have put together a lovely Cinderella costume. Our second costume idea that we can make together is a cheerleader! Also a classic costume for Halloween, many with zombified versions, many with, you know, gussied up versions, but mine has a special backstory to it. I am a theater kid, and I got into the ensemble of a show called Bring It On at my high school. I even have some shirts for them. And the best part of all, since my teacher wasn't going to use the costumes for any other show, we got to take our costumes home and live with the memories. All you need to do is get a color coordinated skirt shirt combo with some sneakers, some white socks, and a big, fluffy, ruffly, giant cheer bow. Now I would suggest looking up some cheer makeup to see how you can finish off your look. If you don't want to do that, just remember to use lots of glitter. Glitter is your friend. More combining later, and... Here we are! We're super cute cheerleaders now! Number three is yet another classic, The Little Red Riding Hood. I noticed that we're doing a lot of fairy tales in this Halloween video, but I have a lot of capes and I can't just not wear them. I mean, come on, like, look at them. It's Halloween, you guys, you gotta wear your capes. I would say that my version of this costume is pretty simple. You gotta get a pretty little white dress, a big red cape with a hood, preferably, some white tights if you want, red shoes, they can either be heels or flats, and an adorable basket. Make sure to try to keep her soft and delicate in order to get her red riding hood aesthetic. You should also try to put this in your makeup too. Nothing too harsh and nothing too gaudy or sparkly. And here we are, our adorable little red riding hood. Number four is the infamous vampire. I thought that we needed a darker undertone for this costume since Halloween is still a night of mystery and shadows. And besides, who doesn't like vampires? Well, who doesn't like them at least a little bit? 
they're one of the first movie monsters in cinematic history. For this costume, basically all you need to get is everything black and mysterious and put it on your body. Preferably anything flowy, like let's say a long black cape. You should also try to go smoky and dark with your makeup. I use black eyeshadow for my lips since I don't own black lipstick since mom won't let me. <laughs> Come on mom, please let me have one. All right. But here we are. All we gotta do is combine and now you are an elegant vampire queen. Break time. Go eat some Halloween candy while you wait for me to finish up. Number five is an iconic character that many of you know. Kilua from Hunter x Hunter. Yes, I do say the X. I don't care how you really say it. X is in the title, then I'm gonna say the X, and you can't stop me. Kilua keeps switching between the number one and number two spots of my favorite characters, besides Hisoka and Karabika and Leorio. Oh, and obviously Gon, you know, since he's the main character, but there's also a few others that I like. Oh, sorry, I think I better move on. Anyway, what you need to complete this costume is a long sleeve blue shirt, preferably like navy or royal blue a purple overshirt, some blue, black, or purple shorts, and some black, purple, or pink shoes. I have accepted that I will not have Kilo's white hair in this short amount of time, but you can definitely use lots of white and blue for yourself. Use eyeshadow and Vaseline for exotic lip colors, like me. And here you are. You are Kilua Zoldic, the best assassin in the world. Number six is another iconic character. This is Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. I love Studio Ghibli and all of their movies. Kiki's Delivery Service was actually one of the first Studio Ghibli movies that I've ever watched. The ones that I watched after her were called My Neighbor Totoro, The Secret World of Arietti, and this new anime movie called Weathering With You. I mean, it's not a Studio Ghibli movie, but it's still absolutely beautiful. You should really watch it. Now, all you have to do to cosplay little Kiki is get yourself a big royal blue dress, some cute red bows, flats, a stuffed cat, and a crossbody bag. Not necessarily in that order, but you do need these. Now, Kiki's a little bean, so you don't need to put any makeup on her at all. But if you want to give her that innocent look, you can put on some mascara and maybe a bit of blush. Now just throw on your clothes, get your broom, and you're a witch! You're a witch who can deliver desserts to anybody throughout the universe. Number seven is a big, beautiful, bright, rainbowy, fantastical unicorn. No matter if you are a child or an adult, you can always appreciate the rainbowy loveliness of a unicorn. And as you can probably tell from my overall style throughout my videos, I am a lover of bright, fun, and on occasion sparkly clothing. And I've also received a unicorn headband as part of a birthday present, so I knew that this costume would be a breeze. If you are more bright and colorful, like me, then use brightly colored pajamas and leggings. If you have a darker disposition, then get a dark unicorn horn and a darker set of pajamas and leggings.
Now, all you need to do is conduct your magical transformation with lots of glitter and... Ta-da! You are either a nice sparkly rainbow unicorn or a darker unicorn for Halloween! And last, but certainly, certainly not least, if you don't have anything fancy to wear, or you just want to be basic for Halloween, then there is always one last option. Just be a cat! For my version of the classic and famous kitty cat, we have a classic long black shirt with some lacy black leggings, some super fluffy cat ears with some pink bows, isn't that adorable? <laughs> and some sparkly black flats. And of course, to add some extra jazz and some zhuzh, we got a cute boat choker and some big pink heart earrings. Now for makeup, just do it like a cat. Simple but dark makeup is very effective. You may add whiskers, a nose, and maybe some little detailing around the mouth if you wish to do so. One final anamorphic transformation, and you are now a cat. A lovely black cat. Or white, or brown, or blonde, or pink, or whatever. Our eight transformations have finally been completed. Hey guys, here I am with my voice and only half of my body. Sorry about the video being late by the way. I have a little trouble with this skill it's called uh, time management. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but I'm pretty sure that many of you struggle with it as well. Anyway, I just wanted to make this little thank you video to, well, thank you for watching my videos and to thank you for supporting me. I also wish to know what type of videos you guys want me to make. I want to make every customer that subscribes to this channel feel loved, happy, and valued, and the way I can do that is by giving you videos that you actually want to watch. So please, comment down below any video ideas you may have, and I'll see if I can deliver them to you, okay? And last but not least, I really hope you enjoyed making these costumes with me, and will wear them next Halloween or every day of your life, if you want. <laughs> If you want to have more low-key but still entertaining fun, then please consider coming back to Virtual Cheese Emporium and even subscribing to our membership program. <laughs> Thank you so much for celebrating Halloween with me and I hope to see you all very, very soon. And I hope that new customers join the membership program. <laughs> Thank you so much once again and have a lovely November. Bye-bye everybody!